Hi everyone, I'm Tanaz from foreverconscious.com and this is your weekly energy forecast for the week of October 9th. So we start this week with the Aries full moon. There is some volatile energy around this full moon. Maybe as you felt it building, uh, maybe you've been feeling a little more irritable, a little more restless in your being. There's just some heated energy attached to this full moon. But with that heat also comes beautiful healing energy. So wherever heat has been uh, delivered in your life, wherever you've been feeling the, the tenseness or the intensity, know that healing can occur. Know that whatever's being highlighted for you, whatever's coming up, whatever the, whatever's at the root of that irritability, there's healing on offer. And if you're wondering, well, how do I, how do I tap into the healing? So this full moon carries some energy that can really help us make decisions, take action. So if there's some action that you've wanted to take, maybe with all this retrograde energy that we've been dealing with, you haven't been able to take action, you've been indecisive, this full moon can help us to be more decisive. They also can be healing through just reaching a point where you just decide, I have to surrender, I have to let go, I have to accept, kind of like a more um, energetic release, an energetic uh, solution point where you're kind of just uh, um, detaching from the situation. And the third way, if you need something a little bit more active than that, is to just recite the mantra, I am healed, I am healed, and allow the vibration of the word healed to flow through your body. We can always have different expectations of what healing looks like, but just let the magic of this word do its job. I am healed. I am healed. What does it feel like when you say that? Sit in meditation. Say it 10 times. I am healed. And then just let those vibrations ripple and go where they need to go. Trust they'll go where they need to go and just accept wherever you are on your healing journey and whatever version of healed you might have in your mind, let that go. Let the word, let the vibration of that chant work its magic. So a couple of ways to harness that energy. If you're feeling that irritability and you're still like, oh, what do I do with it? Know that movement is very good. So if you can't take an action step or make a decision, just move your body, go for a run, go for a jog, dance, do some yoga, whatever whatever you want to do, just move the body because that can help to release that stagnant energy and dispel some of that heat that might be building up under this full moon. So kind of a lot of work to do and that's kind of going to be the focus for the week. So I don't want to overload you too much because this full moon really has some strong energy and we'll be working with it for most of the week. Typically, a full moon we tend to feel for about four days after. So, you know, it we're, it's on its way out, but we tend to get that, you know, energy lingering for a couple of days after the full moon peaks. As we get to the end of the week, we have a galactic energy coming through, and galactic energies always hit us on a more subtle vibrational level. So, it's it's a energy that we don't feel as strongly, but it's the sun aligning with the star Arcturus, opening up the Arcturus gateway. This is some beautiful, high frequency, uh, high vibing energy. Arcturus is associated with heightened uh, spiritual awareness, heightened psychic gifts, and abundance and prosperity. So beautiful, beautiful energy. I always see Arcturus light as being a very, very bright blue. So if you want to connect and tap into this energy, and if that blue light resonates with you, I would sit in a meditation and imagine blue light streaming down from the heavens as a column going through your entire body and just sit with that and allow that energy, allow that blue light to open up abundance, open up the doorways to your own energy centers, open up your third eye, sit with that blue light and allow it to, you know, tap you into the abundance of the universe. If you want to know more about the Arcturus Gateway, I have an article, as always, on foreverconscious.com 
I'll drop a link below. And I also forgot to mention if you want some extra guidance under that Aries full moon, I also have an Aries full moon ritual. Aries rules over the head. So this ritual involves giving yourself a nice head massage and working with the head. So if you would like that, I will drop a link for that below. So kind of like these, you know, intense full moon energy. Then we've got this lovely galactic uh, rays coming in from Arcturus. And then finally, one more thing to add on top of all of that. We are starting to feel the energy of the sun and Venus. This is known as the Venus star point. It is a very sacred day. We actually um, usually only get one of these a year, but this will be number two. We had one in January. Now we're getting one in October. So very, very special. It peaks on October 22nd, but we're already feeling it. The sun and Venus, this is beautiful heart opening energy. Uh, so if we think of that and we couple that with the full moon energy and everything else that's kind of going on, if you've been struggling in relationships, if relationships have been uh, highlighted or a theme for you, whether romantically or a relationship with someone else, this is where you may be really feeling all of this, this strong Venus energy, this full moon. You may be feeling some relationships heightened in your life. So this is a really good time, especially if you're feeling that, to bring focus back to the self. When the sun and Venus align and Venus is moving direct, not retrograde, which it is, it's moving direct. It's a time when we're guided to use our heart energy to connect with the truth of ourselves and what we really want and what we really desire of what we really value. So if you're struggling with your a relationship, come back to how you really feel, what you really desire for yourself and where your values are, and then see if that helps inspire some sort of action that you can take. All right. I hope that's helpful. It is kind of a lot of energy, but October is a big, busy month. We still have eclipses to come and another retrograde. But um, if you want to, actually, I keep forgetting two things before I go. If you want to learn more about the Venus star point, uh, I am running a Zoom workshop. I'll drop a link below if you're looking to learn more about that. You want to sign up to that. It's beautiful energy. We'll do some heart opening meditations and talk all about the Venus star point. So I'll drop a link for that below. And then also don't forget, you can get your moon calendar. They're available now up on Etsy. Um, if you've gotten my calendars before, you kind of know the drill. Each month comes with some beautiful artwork and affirmation. And then the days for the full moon, new moon, the sun's journey through the zodiac. We have retrogrades, uh, equinoxes, solstices, eclipses. It's all in there for you if you want to get the 2023 uh, moon calendar. I'll drop a link for that below too. All right, you guys, I hope that was helpful. Full moon, Arcturus gate, sun and Venus. It's all happening. Beautiful heart opening energies, energies helping us to decide and make decisions, energies helping us to heal and energies helping us to tap into abundance and our third eye. A lot going on. Hope you can use it. I'm Tanaz from foreverconscious.com. Thank you so much.